this every year. Such talent. A gift from all the It's you, isn't it? Over here. It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider it the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Uh, I don't want that bullshit. I want this one. Uh, put that shit. We ain't gotta take it. We just whatever. I take that. Very rare for what? No, keep a token. So, can these tokens only be traded for these? Let's buy all of them. There. Try it on whenever you feel like it. Thank you, Ted. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than... What you were wearing. Every Whatever, day. get the fuck out of my face, bro. Don't nobody want to talk to you, bro. You guys, man. Put on my shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, this. Please, whatever that is, and that. Oh, yeah. I was just about to say I needed wires. That's good. Yeah. I tried my best when I was not playing to prepare for everything. is not trying to run a brave trail. Who climbs better than... than... I don't feel so The outcast? Oh dear, is that rude? I probably shouldn't have called you into your place. Get down from there, now! What you wanted and for me to fall on my head. What I want is for you to climb down. But you'll what have to you tell this when I'm gone. for me to have no fun at all. Give the cards you did to our five came. Stay up on the roof all night if you want. Yeah, I will. Huh. All nice. were her children. Of course, Bob. They lived going. alongside each other. Just look at the comfort of her wild embrace. But some 
grew restless. Now, Though they took of her this bounty, just doesn't compare to five years ago. Wanted more. The entertainment, the dancing, These the beer. were the faithless. <sighs> The machine the had had whispered to them, more promised to serve them, to make them a new world, the better than the one all mother provided. Bro, shut the fuck up, bro. Like, don't nobody want to hear your bitch ass. They did to the viewers, they did to the viewers. Ay, I'm out of this bitch. Feed them, shelter them, give them a life of kindness. They gonna say they can't talk to me. Is that stay all at first? Boy, over here. Oh, you Karst? What are you doing here? Careful, you pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now? Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Mother's Heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. All sales are final. If it breaks, you're out of luck. Bruh, I am broke. Completely. But I will buy the stuff and I get money. I buy all these wires, my boys. I'm on all the wires. Um, should get money in the future. Next time. next time, you'll be a brave. Ain't that right? So let's just unlock this bullshit. For that. There you go. Or fast travel packs. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with the Karja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace is peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by and the slavers. Hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers and slavers. Hey, hey. Luminance, hold Luminance. your fruit. Nor, uh, nor a faithful. Hold your fruit. Now I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude Written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. <clears throat> I won't let the Karja Faithless stop me from enjoying the the of your What harm can they do now? No, the Karja stand with you. As the, the Karja have come to make a I am to my stupid. What's that mean? You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. 
Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. Lenora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I wanted to ask you something else. Yeah, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. I never heard anything about Red Raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. It didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. So what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the sun sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. Who are the Asaram? Oh, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things. Arguing, working steel, and brewing. And freebooters. What are those? I guess you could say we were mercenaries. You know, warriors for pay. Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now, some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few Karja to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire vanguard. Favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Oh, well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh, direct. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah. I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh, I'm sorry. I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. 
Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass, and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the Sawtooth? Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So what's making it happen? Well, no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. But take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. What else do you know about Olin? Well, is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring-locked, impact-protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard are the Sun King's best. Life-takers and machine-breakers to a one. You might even give a Nora Warmaid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... <laughs> It's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? Perhaps the Karja come to make amends. I won't deny them the chance. Aspirants are in place. Uh, oh! Expecting more tomatoes? Uh, in truth, I, I thought they were throwing stones. Stones hit a lot harder. You'd know the difference. If you wish to speak, we should do so after the ceremony. I'd rather not hold things up. Or do anything else that angers these people. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. <laughs> Blasphemy, sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. In honor of my mother, 
Anna's name, I would know if she hadn't abandoned me at birth. Oh, mother, hear our prayer! What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. There's Owen. I have some questions for him. High Matriarch Tears has gone too far this time, inviting these bloodthirsty Karja into our lands. Perhaps the Karja have come to... Hello, Owen. You know my name. Ah, uh, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the Claim. That's our name for the Asarum homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've delved yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced. Then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. 